for we have come to Zion, the city of the living God. We have come to a heavenly Jerusalem. We have come before the spirits of just men made perfect. We have come before God, the judge of all. We have come before the blood of sprinkling, the blood that speaks of better things than the blood of Abel. We have come into the presence of an innumerable company of angels. This is the place of ministry. This is the place of the unhindered presence of God. This is the place where the voice of Elohim is unstopped. This is the place where his voice has no end. When his voice begins, there is no end to his voice. There is no end to the telling of the places that the voice can break into. This is the place where his voice is like a boundless expression of colors. This is the place where his voice sometimes is like a mixture of different you melodies and different sounds. This is the place where there is no telling where he could go or how he could express himself. We have come before the presence of God. We have come we into have the come place where Jehovah Zion. feels at home. We have come into the place where he flows like a river and he moves like a wind. At the same time, he burns like fire. procession of priests all dressed in white carrying in their hands the sacrifices of their lives that have become a part of worship is this not the array of those who through the blows and through the suffering they never turned back they stayed apart and they kept on moving is this not the array of those who have given up their lives and they have said to me is Christ and today's game. Is this not hope for all of us? Oh, Marina Makuja da Bahai. Into Nevina Makuja. We can't part our lives, God. We are whole inside. Worship you, O oh God, with our lives. I hear the Lord saying, A holy procession. A holy procession. I feel like the Lord has called for us to show forth, He has called an audience in heaven. And he has said, you know, I, I have a couple of saints who I want to show you. Their journeys are not complete yet, but I, I just want to show you how far they've lived. You've asked about my wisdom. You've seen the works of my hands. You know how great I am. Some of you have been here even before the creation of the world. He says, but I want to show you something even deeper, something that is a mystery, something that shows my wisdom much more than the things that I created in the heavens. He said, here are they, my priests, my people, my children, the ones who constantly live their lives by sacrifice. The Lord has called for a holy procession. And you know, it's also a time of reward. It's a time of reward. It's not the final reward. But the Lord has said that to anyone who is weary, anyone who is broken, anyone who is saying, God, I, I, I don't think I can run this race to the end. I just need you to give me just a little bit of encouragement. I just need you to show me that you see what I'm doing and you see what I've been through. I hear the Lord saying, it's also a time of reward. He said, I'm a father. I come with good gifts. I come with goodies. Every time I call my children together, I have something I want to give to them. He said, I am here with my reward. Who is it that sits at my feet? Who is it that looks into my eyes? Who is it that is crying out to hear my voice? Who is it 
something that wants me to speak into their hearts and to calm the storm. He said, I have come for my reward. My reward is my presence. My reward is my presence. Rewarded with your presence. My reward is my presence. My reward is my presence. Believe your life.
will leave wealth in your hands, God. Your reward.